Hello everyone, this is Yu Chen. This video is for the final project and when I developed the game, first thing I so first, the first thing I considered is how to make this game fun and easy for development. So I was thinking about to make a fighting game but it's just too much work, so you need to do the models, the animations, uh, the fighting assistance. So I just give it up quickly. When I look at my screens, so the universe just comes to my mind. There are many moons or planets around the central planet, which lead me to the um, vampire survivor. Because in this game, it's you will have a center center player and the monster, just like the moons or the or, or the planets coming in comes to you. So I want to make a game which is like, which is similar to the um, vampire, but it's different than the vampire. So for the vampire, this game is focused on the attacking. This game will give you some strong uh, aggressive abilities to destroy the enemy. But I want to make a game which um, focuses on makes you focus on the escaping, focus on the avoid the the, the, the monster or, or the block. So so in this case the player will have some key features. Uh, the one, first one key feature is the dash. Uh, the player can, so the player can dash. So the player can dash out. Can dash out of the blocks or, and the next one is the fire. So the player can shoot some, shoot some bullets to the ball to to the block and destroy the block. And the, the last one, uh, I will add some um, special abilities, uh, for example, like an invisible or the bullet pen, or you know, the player may have the may can get a bomb, and the bomb can destroy the blocks near the player. So the next part is the blocks. So how to generate the blocks through the blocks? Just be generates uh, randomly or follow some patterns. So for now, the idea is the block will be generated like a circle. So, so for example, so for example here, um, the block will be generated like a circle and the center point is the current player position. And after the block is generated, it will just try to or move towards the center point, and uh, during that time, the player need to dis make movements. They need to decision to make decision. Should I just uh, uh, destroy one block so I can get out, or should I just use uh, best movement, or should I just use the uh, dash? So as the planning, so as the planning time increases, the speed of the block movement and the refresh time or, or the generate time will get faster and faster. So the player can have the pressures like in the vampire. So you know all the monsters just rush to you and in, in this game all the block will try to rush to you and uh, destroy you. So player, so in this game, the player needs to manage their resources like I mentioned before, dash the fire and try to get some um, super abilities to take some advantage and they need to make their way in the mess of coming block. So I made uh, so I make a demo. So now I so for for now I finish the dash systems. The player now can dash and you can and the player can have some enhancement for example or increase the dash time so they can dash out easily and they can also have some and the dash oil will also have some cooldown time. Um you need to wait some time before you can use it again. And player can also have some enhancement for example like really um really short cooldown time so they can dash continually and uh, more time and uh, also they can they may have some enhancement like they can have more dash distance and so as the time increase 
the pair can in this complex situations, all the block will come for you, and you need to choose wisely to uh, manage your resources like dash or the fire and move um, really carefully. So I think it will quite interesting when you in this situation. So for the future work, first I need to finish the core system. Um, I would need to add some add the fire system and the complex the block generate system because in the demo all the objects is statistic. And after that, uh, after I finish the core systems, I need to decide how to get the abilities. Uh, should the player get the, the ability when they reach some time, for example, the player survive for two minutes and they gain a new ability, or they just pick the ability up, or should, the player, or should I do some roguelike things, you need to choose one ability in a random three choice. And um, after I finish those part, I will I will try to add more features on the block and ball and add some effects, add some shader to the game to make the game look more nice. So that's for my current work. Thanks for your listening and thanks for your time. See you next week.